morning let's talk about relative velocity all right what is velocity velocity is uh, distance cover over a period of time and on some direction either this side that side some direction okay and that's our velocity and today I'm gonna talk about parallel relative velocity okay parallel relative velocity now as soon as we know that velocity is distance over time to some directions let's think about parallel um, velocity how this can uh, affect our daily life everything is moving okay um, it's 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 depend who is the observer okay let's say this person is walking to this direction okay let it's uh, this person's velocity velocity of a this person we call it a it has 1.2 meter per second towards this way eastern side and then let's say there is another person uh, actually running okay that's running and uh, velocity of this person is uh, let's say 1.8 meter per second okay they're they're running on a straight line like that parallel okay what is the velocity of B relative to A that's how we write down B relative to A now what, what comes over here that's our main observer okay observe observer according to this person what is the velocity of this one relative to this person what is the velocity of that one okay now usually the way we're gonna do uh, since is the observer the direction this person is moving that's very important it's going this way and the the person is observing by this person is also moving towards the same direction okay so both of them as positive let's say velocity of B relative to velocity of a so equal to velocity of B minus velocity of a this person according to this person how th this person is moving so this is going to be velocity of B is 1.8 minus 1.2 that's actually gives me 0 0.6 meter per second what that actually means it means that if if I'm standing right here to me B is moving towards this direction 1.8 meter per second if I'm at stationary I'm not moving at all and a is moving at 1.2 meter per second towards this direction but they, they both of them are moving towards same direction so what happened we have to cancel we have to subtract this velocity because both of them actually running at least 1.2 meter per second but this person B is moving more than this and how much more 0.6 meter per second more than this uh, this person so to him th this person is the observer for to him this person B is not moving actually 1.8 meter per second 1.8 minus 1.2 that's actually 0.6 meter per second this direction okay now if you get this what is the velocity of a relative to B now the observer is B right now okay and to this person how this person is moving we're gonna use the same formula now this time velocity of a minus velocity of B they are going to the same direction so this one velocity of a is 1.2 and this one is 1.8 so that's minus 0 0.6 meter per second this negative sign is very important okay it means the the direction this observer is moving observer is moving to this person it appeared that this person who is being observed is actually falling backwards this person is not going backwards but to him it seems that this person is falling behind 0 0.6 meter per second okay so it's opposite way uh, this this example is very good whenever you are traveling in a in a, a parallel line and you see a car is moving really fast faster than you then it seems like that that car is actually moving away from you okay not not true it's a true velocity but according to your velocity then that velocity would be subtracted and whatever is left over that's gonna be the velocity of this one but to this if you are here okay but to this person you are actually falling apart if you give enough time then probably 
from his um, uh, uh, glass, uh, mirror glass, uh, looking mirror glass, you will be disappear. Okay, because you are going to fall behind. Okay, negative 0 0.6 meter per second means that. What if these two person are traveling on the opposite direction? Okay, same way, velocity of A remains 1.2 meter per second and this person A is moving towards the eastern side and this person was running and velocity of B is 1.8 meter per second towards this direction, uh, towards uh, western side and then what is the velocity of A relative to B? We're going to use the same formula, okay? Uh, this formula over here velocity of a that's 1.2 now remember the observer is B so its direction is very important now this person a is moving opposite direction to the this person so that's gonna be negative 1.2 and from the formula we got negative 1.8 that's negative 3 meter per second okay I'm gonna come back to this within a second okay let's do what is the velocity of B relative to a now the observer changed okay now towards a now his direction is very important this person is mo moving opposite direction of this observer so it's minus 1.8 minus 1.2 minus 3.0 meter per second now interesting thing this and this are the same velocity of a relative to B or velocity of B relative to a are the same what that actually means it means since they are moving opposite direction from opposite direction the distance between them close in that fast okay it's closing in negative three meter per second the the space between them is it's just closing that fast okay I don't know if you understand that that much or not if you don't please read the uh, introduction of the book and see this video once again and next on, on the next video, I'm going to talk to you about relative velocity on walkway or travelator. Okay, so see you in the next video. Take care. Have a good day.